the Geek Meter should be off the charts today. I ordered the Revopoint Pop 3D scanner from Kickstarter and if all goes well I will make a three-dimensional copy of this brick with this scanner. <laughs> It finally arrived. About six months ago I ordered this, the Revopoint Pop 3D scanner from a Chinese company on Kickstarter and now I want to see if all those promises from their Kickstarter campaign videos will come true. I will open this up now and see if I can make a 3D scan with this. The box is open, here are some stickers and what I really like is this. So they put this Roman looking bust of Wayne Rooney in the box. The eyes are a little bit close together, aren't they? So this is what they always used in their marketing videos to demonstrate the power of their scanner. Interesting choice to put this in the box so I can try, I can calibrate my scanner, I don't know, using this. So I'm going to use this brick here instead and I'm gonna find out if it's in fact possible to scan this and also print this then on my 3D printer. In the box there is the scanning unit that should be in here. Pop scanner, Revopoint Pop 3D scanner. It's now finally here. LED light, cell phone holder, latex gloves, and there is another box inside the box. Let's take this out. So this is the turntable uh, where you are supposed to put your objects you want to scan. You can put them on there. Load capacity 5 kilograms and this should contain the most important piece of hardware and I'm gonna open this up now. Quality check, pass. This seems to look fine. This should contain the scanning unit, small tripod and some cables. So this looks nice and sleek. This contains some lenses and sensors. I'm not even sure. Does this work with laser? I knew when I ordered this. I think this works with regular light. USB-C cable and USB-3 cable and a small tripod. So how does this work now? I don't see any kind of instructions or quick start guide. I think I have to go online to find out. So on the Revelpoint website, revelpoint3d.com, I found a POP 3D scanner quick start guide. Probably this will also be on this USB key, but I didn't check that. And so the first thing it, show, it says the tripod can be adjusted in height, but I don't think I am smart enough to th for this. Maybe I have to open this up. Ah, this can just... So you can really pull this out and adjust the height. The first thing it tells you is to connect the scanner to the computer via USB. So this kind of reminds me, uh, do, you, do you still remember the serial bus or a VGA cable with the screws here? It 
if this light turns from blue to green the pop works and this is what just happened so I'm optimistic the next thing you're supposed to do is download and open the software I have already downloaded it of course I will accept this agreement with this Chinese company handy scan exit that is the scan software Windows Defender is blocking some of the features so of course it wants me to scan this statue but I will instantly go for the construction brick so this was really quite fast for the thing to look quite set up and see some kind of image on the computer screen it tells me the first thing I should do is find the right distance I did that and then adjust the RGB and depth parameters interesting so I think I have to just try this out and see what it does so I turned up the lights a little bit in order to make sure that this scanner gets enough light on the object I want to scan I think I have to remove all this stuff in the background here okay I just keep this So I've started this and apparently it's scanning. So as you might be able to see on the screen, this does not work. And I took a break filming and did a little bit of reading on what this kind of 3D scanner is and is not capable of doing and I believe this all has to do with the reflecting surfaces of this object and the 3D scanner using this optical light is absolutely not able to handle this so each turn that this table does leads to like a new ghost image of this brick and they create this cloud cluster of weird shapes that are hovering above that thing in empty space and if I was to mesh this at the end this would create all kinds of things but not an image in the shape of this brick so my you might say naive dream of taking this out of the box and kind of replicate like in Star Trek replicate uh, this brick with this scanner this dream didn't work out I did some reading on how to fix that and I believe the solution to this might be 3d scanner spray that you can order online that takes away the reflections so you need a non reflecting surface you can't scan stuff with glossy surfaces so this test here is definitely a fail what I wanted to achieve I could absolutely not achieve but I will not give up that easily I will get this 3d scanning spray and see if there can be a remedy to this and if my dream of 3d copying that thing if that is actually possible after this result I completely understand why Revopoint put this bust here this guy's head in the box to scan because this is the perfect object to be scanned by the scanner it's white and it has this non-glossy finish it doesn't reflect much light so the scanner doesn't get distracted at all I'm sure if I put this on the scanner now and try it with this thing it will work out perfectly let's see So you see this works really well the newly scanned green areas on the screen perfectly fit with the already scanned blue areas there's a po point cloud that gets denser and denser and the green area always sits exactly where the blue outlines are so this seems to work really really well I'm gonna change the orientation of this thing on the turntable now 
yes this is what I expected this works really really well the software instantly recognized the new orientation and turned the point cloud to fit with this new orientation so the new points that are scanned by the scanner fill the holes and gaps of the areas that haven't been scanned before so to me this looks really really well i will change the orientation again again the software instantly recognized the new orientation of this object this already looks very very good to me i don't think i probably need to scan this much longer there are a couple of points at the base of the figure that are hovering now above the model on the screen and i'm curious to see what will happen if i mesh this together is if i fuse all the points here if those outlying points will disappear or if they will create an artifact that i will have to remove in some 3d software so i'm going to stop this now and mesh this together and see what happens so point cloud fusing it says this point cloud is being rendered into one coherent thing and i'm going to turn this off fusing completed it says this took about two minutes on my computer and here is what it did So to me this looks quite good here at the base there is a little trouble and at the nose there is a little couple of points it missed but you can also hit mesh and then all the points will be rendered into an object and that's what I'm gonna do now are you sure to fill hole yes now it's uh, rendering, meshing it says. Okay, and now it's closed, all the holes, and now we have an actual, oh, this is quite nice. We have an actual object here. So this looks really good. There is one little point of trouble down there, here there it created an artifact but basically this looks surprisingly good to me yes yeah, so this wayne rooney bust here was scanned quite well so the ideal scanning object i take it why would they include this if this wasn't the ideal thing so that works quite well but when do you need to scan this kind of objects so um yeah i'm not i'm not perfectly convinced yet i'm really looking forward to getting the 3d scan spray and see if that helps me to scan other objects i asked my daughters what they wanted to have scanned and one of the objects that came up was this little piggy here it doesn't have very complex structures or features or anything so this might work I'm gonna give it a try So this looks really good. This looks really promising. So this kind of object seems to be very scanner friendly. It doesn't have shiny surfaces. It doesn't have, it's not glossy at all. And if you look at the screen, you see that the scanned area exactly fits onto the already existing point cloud from the rotations before so this looks quite promising I'm gonna turn this sideways and see if the scanning can resume and if it can change the orientation of the existing point cloud I'm gonna resume yeah so the scan 
instantly resumes and changes orientation. So this is an ideal object. Do I need this? Do you need this? Does anybody need this? I'm gonna turn this around again and put it upside down. One thing that I notice is this scanner cannot scan black objects apparently. The feet of this piggy, they are black and they are not being recognized. They are just gaping holes there where the feet should be. And, but I hope that the, the meshing pro, uh, process later, I hope that in the meshing process later, those will be just closed randomly. But the feet, the black feet of this piggy, they cannot be scanned. I'm going to try yet another orientation. Yes, this also works. So I'm going to finish this scan now and create a model. I'm going to click complete. So this is what this looks like. A myriad of scanning points. If you zoom into the model you see all of them. So this is all the data or like this is a normalized version of the data. So I guess it's a statistical thing. All the outliers get get removed. So these are all the scanning points like the, the good scanning points that the scanner did. Here you see that it's a huge clouds probably millions of points yeah quite impressive so i'm gonna hit mesh and it's gonna create a oh i already hit mesh and it's creating a model from this so this is the completed model of this piggy and now i am going to 3d print this This was easy enough. I just scanned this. I didn't do any treatment on this or anything. I just exported this as an STL and imported this into my slicer and printed it on my Creality CR6. And this is what came out. And I guess my daughter will be quite happy about her copied piggy. This looks exactly like the other one. And um, so, of course, this is soft and this is uh, made from PLA, but uh, I mean, there's one little artifact here at the bottom. This is where the scanner created artifacts in the point cloud. So this, I would say, is a success. I, in fact, copied this object. This is the original. This is the copy and the resolution is quite nice. Need to paint on some eyes. So, what is my conclusion? The RevoPoint Pop 3D Scanner. Yeah, it couldn't really fulfill my dream of just copying one of those bricks without any preparation, just like that. That didn't work out. But I was actually able to copy an object, a little piggy thing here. So, not as brilliant as I dreamed it up to be, but quite a nice thing. So, if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. And please remember, what goes up must come down here at Gravity Bytes.